What's up guys? We got our pistons back from the machine shop. They have been fly cut and we are going through, we are using the dial indicator method here of checking a piston at a valve clearance in relation to where the piston is at inside the bore. So we still got the degree wheel on here. We have established our top dead center already. That's been established. I haven't moved the degree wheel since I originally established it. I did double check to make sure that it's still in the same area and it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a measurement at several different points and we got our trusty little notebook here. So on the intake, and we're going to do the same on the exhaust, we start at 20 degrees before top dead center and we end at 20 degrees after top dead center measuring every point there. So we're going to go ahead and start going through and measuring the exhaust clearance and I'll give you a quick rundown now. When you set all this up, you know, you obviously got to have your lifters in there, you got to have your push rods in there, we got a head gasket inside here, the head gasket that we're going to use when we assemble this motor. And we also have, since we were using a solid roller uh, camshaft, and it'd be the same if you were using a solid flat tappet, we have a, put our lash in. And uh, a hot lash is supposed to be 22 thou, so we lashed it cold at 22 thou. Now when we go to lash it before we start it, we'll probably start at uh, 30 to 32 thou, and then we'll recheck it again once the motor's hot. But that's in the car, that's later down the road. Now if you're using a hydraulic style camshaft, you have to preload your lifters. Um, then you can check your piston to valve clearance this way as well. So I'm going to hopefully get my assistant here to run the notepad for me while I go ahead and roll this motor over. You want to run the notepad for me? Huh? Don't be scared of the camera. So just we're going to write the same numbers I got here down here. So just write EX for exhaust. And we're going to do 20 degrees before. So. degrees before top dead center. Now once we got our degree wheel here on 20 degrees before top dead center we're going to come over to our dial indicator and I'm going to zero it out just because it's easier for me that way I don't have to read and do math. So we got our dial indicator zeroed out and also we got our checker springs inside here we don't have the big heavy uh, valve springs that we're going to run in the motor we got a checker spring in here all we're going to do is push down on the rocker. And we'll count how many times it goes around. One, two, we got 229. And the damn push rod fell out. So write that down 229. All right, now we're going to go to 15 degrees before top dead center. 15 degrees before top dead center. Re-zero out our dial indicator. And then we'll count how many times this one goes around. One, one ninety-nine. Now we're gonna go to uh, ten degrees before. One, 
one. 88. Now we're going to go five degrees before. Re zeroing out our dial indicator every time because it moves a lot. You'll be astounded when you do this how much it, it moves. Now we're going to go three degrees before. See, we just moved the crank three degrees and it's already a thirteenth out difference on a dial indicator. Two oh two. Now we're gonna go zero degrees, straight up, top dead center. I assume we got bigger, it's gonna get bigger from here. Titus, 190 something. Oh, yeah. what was our Titus point? 190 something. 188 was our Titus. So now it's getting bigger. All right, now we're five degrees after top dead center. Re zeroed out our indicator. We're gonna do this again. Now, if it keeps getting bigger, I'm probably not gonna check. 15 and 20. Where are we at? We're at 5. Let's get through. Oh, that's because it's getting bigger. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 2, 60. check no more. So the I think we talked about this in the other video. The minimum clearance that you're looking for on your exhaust is a hundred thou. That's kind of a standard. I like to see a little more cushion in there but a hundred thou is all the clearance that the textbooks tell you you need and they tell you you only need eighty thou of piss and the valve clearance on the intake side. So 100 on the exhaust, 80 on the intake. That's what all the textbooks tell you. I like to see a little more just in case you know you over rev or or whatever you have plenty of room in there. Of course you know when you start taking out a lot of the room in between the piston and valve and stuff you lose a little bit of compression but maybe we're going to lose a point or two, maybe three, four, if you lost a half a compression, you, you took a lot out of the pistons. And that's with aftermarket pistons anyhow. So we are good to go. We can go ahead and take this cylinder head back off of here and start putting all the pistons back inside this motor. Um, 
We will be plastic aging all the pistons and installing all the rings and all that good stuff. So just a quick video on checking piston valve clearance with a dial indicator in your degree wheel.